Hello and welcome back to this series. So far we have seen the first, second and third level of this row level security and now we are going to look into the fourth one which is dynamic one hierarchy. So this is basically a kind of relationship, uh, I mean the hierarchy way of doing the filters. So now let's look into the demo how it actually works. So dynamic one hierarchy. So for example, this user is has a country region name Australia and the state is New South Wales and the city is Milson Point. And if I copy this and open this Power BI report and then view as dynamic one hierarchy and then other users and add this email id here and now we see the data is being filtered to this particular location what we have seen on this excel file and also you can see the email id here as my son's point at type 18.com so this actually filters the data based on this on a hierarchical way so Australia and the state is New South Wales and the city is Milsons Point. Similarly, if we have a kind of user like this, like this particular user has an access to all the cities available within the Victoria. And here, which is all refers to access to all the cities. So if I copy this user and have a look into this here, view as again, and then adding this user here, and click on OK. So now logically we might have to see all the available cities within that particular state. And there is no category filters for this. And you see it has given all the options here. And if we need to drill down further, let me see if we have this added here. Uh, let country region name and this is also region name. Okay, so let's add a drop down here from the geography table itself just to show you how it actually filters the data. So here we have English region name first and then English region name and what we have it here state name and the city name. And now you see we have all the region as Australia and Victoria and all the cities available inside to that. So this user has an access to everything. And similarly, if I copy the oh, previous one, which is this one and view again, because I just want to show you that it's filtering the data only to show particular city. For your information, uh, this is basically I have used the uh, old version of this Power BI desktop um, just to show you how it also really works on the old one as well. Now you see this is Australia, New South Wales and filter to Melsense point. So irrespective of any of the access level like we have it on the three different columns Australia or uh, Victoria or uh, in all here. So it actually filters the data according to that. And the last case which we want to look into for this particular case is this one Canada. So if I look into this one and view as again, this is going to filter only this uh, main region here that is Canada. It's going to show you everything inside to that all the states and all the cities within that state. So we should not need to create multiple things here. Just one row level security does all this job. So this is the kind of beautiful way of dynamic row level security and the complex structure and this is if you see we have the state as Canada and the state is these are the states and let me zoom this here these are the states what we have and city inside to that state cool so now let's look into the DAX how what I have written here so if you go to stop viewing now and go to home modeling tab on the ribbon and manage roles And let's look into this one, which is dynamic hierarchy. All right. 
So this is the dynamic hierarchy and you see we have two filters applied on two different tables. So the RLS import table usually it ap applicable to almost all the case scenario which I am actually taking this table email ID everything on a lower case to avoid case sensitive issues and equal to lower user principal name which is the login username in Power BI service. Okay. So that's a common thing which we need to add and the next thing is here on the dim geography because this is basically we are filtering only on the dim geography in a hierarchical manner. So that's why we need to use this uh, apply this logic on dim geography table. So it is actually a long list of DAX calculations uh, to break down into smaller steps. So let's copy this code and then I will paste it into uh, DAX studio for example. So I can go to external tools and open the DAX studio. So DAX studio is basically a free tool available um, on the SQL BI website. So it actually helps in terms of monitoring uh, writing the DAX code and monitoring the report data model performance and also it can give you the metrics of your entire data model. It's really a helpful feature if you are working on a real world scenario. Um, so if I just paste those thing what I have copied here, it just gives the correct color highlights here so that we can easily understand what it actually works here. Okay, so let me just go through one by one. So the first one what we have it here, I'm just taking everything into a variable so that we can use reuse those informations. And also it is e easy to understand how the dark DAX code works. So this is basically the variable which I am taking the username of the login user, lawyer, everything in lawyer and user principal name. So this is the one and after that I have taken the cities in a table variable. So variable and then cities here and what I have used here is calculate table and values RLS imports uh, table city name. So basically let's have a look into the table itself which is RLS import table. I am actually taking the list of cities from this RLS table which is a city name here. What we have on this table is email id, country name, state name, city name and the category. So here I am taking all the city names here and the value function actually returns the unique values from this particular column on this table where the lower email id is equal to the login user id. So I'm filtering a particular email ID and then taking whatever the cities it has an access. So in a city variable. So that's one thing I'm taking up here. Now the other variable which I'm taking up here is variable cities all. So we basically uh, use the same thing, but it is not applying any filter logics inside to that. So the reason why I need is basically on if you look into this data, what we have, we have this all, all, all in every column here. So it means whenever we have all, we don't need to filter that particular column. We have to return everything whatever available on that particular column. So that's the reason uh, I am taking it in a separate variable without any filters on the city name so that it can return all the available cities what we have on the table. The next thing what I am doing it here is the cities count. So I'm just taking the count rows of the cities filter by city here, which is this one the first one which the user has an access to that. So if the city name is in all. So I don't know about because the user is logging based on his email ID, right? And I don't know anything about whether he has an all access or not. In order to verify that, I'm just taking a variable where I'm just counting the number of rows where the user has an access table on this variable. And then I'm taking the filtering the city name if there is an all value in that or not. If there is an all value available, then definitely it's going to return more than one or more than one value. If it is not, then it's going to return with zero value. So if we have a zero in that case, the user has not access to all on that particular city. It has an access to only certain cities. So that will be the helpful information here. Similar case, we need to do it for the state level as well, because this is an hierarchy way. So we have a country, state and city level. So that's the reason what we did here for the cities similar case we had to do it for the states as well. So I'm taking a variable here calculate table taking the column state name and filtering it by the login user. 
in a state variable states variable so now i am taking it another variable which contains states all this actually doesn't have any filter by the email id so it will just store everything on the state column and again i am counting it here if that logged in user has an all inside to that data or not if it is available then we have to uh, use this one if it is not available then we have to use this one that's it and after that i am applying the same logic for the countries as well i am taking the countries in a separate variable where also taking a calculate table unique values from the country name column with the filter applied to email id equal to logged in user and also i am taking all countries here because if there is a higher uh, executive like ceo he has an access to everything every country every state and every city so we also need to capture those information so here also countries all equal to it doesn't have any filters on this particular table so calculate table taking unique values from that one and also counting this country's count whether if there is an all value available inside to that or not uh, this is a hierarchy so i have applied the logic on three different columns countries state and city now returning to this one so swiss equal to true if there is a true option then we have to apply these logics so if the city's count is greater than 0 which is basically the all count so this is what the variable what we have if you look into this one for example because this is uh, easily available here the country's count is country's count here you see it highlights the value here which we are actually filtering checking that if there is an all value available or not so the count 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 is basically checking the all value available or not i am just checking the value if there are all values available on the cities and on the state and on the countries if it is available like this scenario so this will be applicable only for the case of ceo if you look into this example case scenario so all is available here all is available here and all is available here and also the bikes is also using the same way where we only have a filter on the category but not on the state country or uh, city level so these users will get here in this scenario where they will get city in all cities without any filter state also all filter without any filter and also the region name equal to countries all which is no filter applied for these kind of cases so that's one scenario similarly we had to apply the scenario for multiple cases so here in our for this particular example we have like four different cases so one is without any filter and the next thing what we have is here city contains all state contains all but countries contain a specific value so in that case i will take city equal to all state equal to all and english country name that is a country name equal to countries in countries i am not taking it from countries all i am taking it from countries variable so that's the thing here because we don't see any all values on this particular country then we have to consider country not the country's all so similar case the next case what we have if we have multiple values on the cities as an all and there is no all values on state count there is no all values on the country count then we have to use this logic which is city equal to cities all and state equal to state not state all and the country is equal to countries not the country all so these are the three case scenario what we have so the fourth one is everything i mean it doesn't have any all available even on the cities not even on the state not even on the english uh, region country so it means he has an access only to a particular city itself so that's the last case where i am directly passing as an else statement on the switch one which is city equal to cities state equal to states and country equal to countries so that's the one so these are the logic which we need to apply on this one by doing that and if we logged in user as these are the cases then it's going to apply the logic what we have defined here so this is the beautiful way where we can adopt this multi-level hierarchy options in power bi as a row level security the same logic can be applied for your another case is like we have a manager and then the subordinate for them so if the manager want to look into data of all the subordinate then we have to consider the same logic as well so if there is a defined name on the subordinate then only the subordinate can see his value if there is an all value on the subordinate then the manager can see value of all the subordinate inside to that 
so that's the same logic concept so this logic can so can be helpful for any other case scenarios as well so this is the fourth part of this one what we have covered today and the next video we are going to cover the last part which is multi level complex vulnerable security but which is dynamic and optional where we can filter also the hierarchical way which is the city country or state but also we can filter the category as well so see you in the next video